so we're going to make these bells. Look how cute that is. Ooh. Knitted bells. Put them in the Christmas tree. They're cute. Can you show us the other side? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. <laughs> yes. Very cute. You Isn't can make it? a bigger version of that too. Oh, you can. Of course. <laughs> of course. Anyway, this is what I... You need your scissors and your jingle bell and a, a, a tapestry needle and I am using size 6 knitting needles with worsted yarn. You're knitting to be nice and tight because you want the belt to be nice and you know, nice and tight, nice and stiff. You don't want a wobbly one. I cast it on 20 stitches and of course leave a long tail when you cast on please leave a long tail because this is what you're going to be using for sewing so what what you do is that you cast on your 20 stitches and do straight stitch which means knit this side and purl on the other so straight stitch is knit one row purl one row so now I have 14 rows so now what we're going to do is that we are going to knit one and knit it together and you do this six times knit one knit it together knit one knit it together knit one, knit it together, knit one, knit it together, knit one, knit it together, and you knit the last two. So now you're going to have 14 stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So now on the next row, on the purl row, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to purl one and purl two together. Purl one and purl two together. Purl one and purl two together. And purl one and purl two together and then you have the last two that you purl one by one so now you're going to have ten stitches two four six eight ten so now you're going to knit two together the whole row and we go knit two together knit two together Knit it together, knit it together, and knit it together. So you're going to have five stitches on your needle. That's what it is. So now let go of that needle and leave about, oh, maybe 10 inches of a tail, about that much. And you are going to use your needle and pass that yarn on those five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. So there we go. And they are, I'm going to leave them like that. I'm not going to tighten them yet. So I know that this yarn is passed through the five stitches that I just made. So now very important you do not sew the whole thing on the right side because this is going to go we're going to take advantage that it curls so we did a video on the no curling uh, how to avoid yes. curling yeah, but, this, but in this case we want, want it to curl <laughs> it's, yes so now what you do is that you're going to be sewing the wrong size facing you that means this 
this is the wrong side, the pearl side, and I go into that knot, that first little thing there, and now I go from here to the next knot, which is there, and from here, so maybe about about five rows. You don't need to have much, you just need to, when that thing curls, when this thing curls, you don't want your seam to show. So that, that's, here's the seam, but you can see that it doesn't show. So that's nice, that's what you want. So that's two, we're going to do one more. So like four? Yes, but since I'm going from, you know, this is the amount, this is more or less what you want. You want about five rows in total, let's, more or less, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, yes. About five rows. And make sure that that is nicely set because that's the part that is going to show. Let's, let's do one more because it really, really doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to be covered when it curls anyway. So now we're going to pass this and sew on the inside, on the outside, which is the knit side. So let's sew from here and we are going to go from the one that we left off to the next one and then on this one to the end. Please look, see our tutorials on how to sew side by side because we have instructions on those things also and uh, it's important to know how to sew these things because you don't want it to show. So I'm all the way up and now what we do with these two, which is this one that I sewed with and the one that was up there, so you gather them, the two together. On the one that you, that you sewed, I try to make a very simple knot up there so it doesn't go anywhere. And now with one of those, it really doesn't matter which one, so let's make a knot here with the two of them. And we are going to put one of them, pass it through in the middle into the inside. So I have it on the inside. And I'm going to pass, put my jingle there, pass it again to the middle, let's see where the middle is, it's so, mm -hmm. it's so closed in, there it is, so that's the middle, and calculate the, the length, because you do want to see a little bit of the bell, but not too long, so let's see, I want this to fold like this, and I want my jingle to show a little. Okay, so now I can make another knot, single thing. And now you can put in, put them together. Look how pretty that would look. Can you leave them hanging just to see what you want to use them for if they're ornaments and you decide how long you want the rest of them. I think I'm going to use a nice no, uh, ribbon. Mm -hmm. Ribbon to yes. decorate? Mm -hmm. So, you know, to put them together Little like bells. this. Christmas bells. Aren't they cute? Mm -hmm. They're very, very, yeah, very easy to make. I mean, you can make these in a couple of hours what or less. What happens if you want to make bigger ones? You should cast on more. more stitches. Yes. Okay. And you follow the same pattern as far as taking off stitches. And, uh, of course, you're going to need more rows in order to do that, so uh, 
take that into account. You might need to knit three together. And so, but you know, this is basic, basic. This is, this is the basic stuff. So aren't they pretty? Very pretty. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Thank you. Thank you.